This is the uh, parking lot right by the Rainbow Falls. How far is it from Hilo? Could be the question. Well, it's basically right in Hilo. From um, the beach to here, maybe a mile. And we definitely need to start the day with a waterfall. I can hear it. And by the way, the surroundings are very, very pretty with big trees, flowers, ferns. You can sit down. And I see something way down there in the background. They also suggest that you skip the diving from these cliffs. Don't try it. And that makes sense. <laughs> wow! It's like a double waterfall becoming one. We have a left side and a right side. And you could actually do diving. My God, yeah, you could. You can go down there, hop into the water, but after a heavy rain, I wouldn't recommend it. The stream will take you all the way down to the ocean. The air is very fresh today. It's a little cool in the morning. Now we have a nice viewing point. All right, so let's see, a waterfall that creates the rainbow. I think they all do, but uh, why not? And in the past they had something called the Battle of the Wailuku River. Yeah, this is the Wailuku River coming down. And the rainforest is incredibly dense. And that's also the reason the air feels so fresh. Lots of oxygen. And people go down there, I'm guessing, but it's on the other side of the fence. Somebody put up a rusty chair. I would say this is a very nice tourist attraction, literally five minutes from downtown. So you can't miss this one, don't skip it. What do you think? That's the best little attraction in town. I'm not sure if it's the best, but it's a cool one, definitely. We have a few clouds coming in, but I will go up towards the blue area and check out another waterfall, huh? How about that? All right, we have seen it, time to go. This highway is going up the coast and they call it the Heritage Highway. This is the beginning of a scenic part of the highway. It's closer to the ocean and of course smaller. <laughs> I love these smaller roads. 
I think this is a four mile stretch. And this is also how the old Hawaii looked like. You can tell everything is built for not more than a few cars. Small bridges, the road is extremely narrow and bumpy. But nevertheless, it's really, really fun to, to drive on it. We have to explore, that's just the way it is. We can't miss it, we need to see how people used to live. Because in the future, they will not be able to live like this. And we are literally in the rainforest, absolutely. It's dense, it's green, and crazy cool. We have something called the Onomea Trails. And if you go down this little walkway, you will eventually end up by the visitor center. But you have to walk half a mile. I will not do that because I don't have time. But I am trying to show you the ocean and the view. And you can tell we are not far from the ocean, but we are higher up. So it's really hard to, to see. But maybe maybe you get it. Can you see something? Well, maybe not. Let me go down a little bit more. And it's also very steep. If you could jump, you would probably end up in the ocean. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this view. And it's also very, very slippery. And you don't want to go too far out. Wow. And there is some, someone down there taking pictures. But I'm just happy to see this insane view. I'm sure you agree. What a beautiful place. And they are absolutely right. You should not go past this fence. The cliffs are not stable. Well, I have to uh, go back up. I wish I had time to go to the visitor center, but uh, I can't really at this point. If you have the energy, you could probably walk down, maybe all the way down to the water. It's a stream and they built a wooden bridge across it. Most stuff you see is concrete, but this one is made of wood. That's amazing. You can clearly see the bolts. And there is a mini waterfall coming down from the mountain. And if you look up, you see a lot of flowers up in the trees. And that's very, very typical for Hawaii. Let me go into the shadow. All right. And the water is continuing for another, maybe a quarter of a mile until it reaches the ocean. It's 
So as you can see, we are living the dream in Hawaii every day. When you are coming out from the dense rainforest, you will see this. The farmland begins. It's an open area and they have cultivated, you know, a lot of things for, for a very long time. Of course, in the past, they used to grow sugar I think in this area and now we have uh, other other types of crops let me ask you a question do you know what the most common Hawaiian word is Well, I guess you don't, but I, I, I will tell you. It's a double word. It's private property. Every day you will see maybe a thousand of these signs. You see it everywhere. Private property. Everything is private. You have no access to pretty much anything. Hawaii is a very special place where every square inch is owned by someone and you have absolutely no access to it. We have a leftover piece from the time when sugar was king. That's a pretty big cog. <laughs> My God, it's like five feet in diameter, easily. It was used in a massive machine, maybe the mill itself. And they put it up right next to the highway. Akaka Falls is up this road. And I'm thinking we are eight minutes away. But I will stop in this little town because they have some really historic buildings right in front of us. By the way, this building is pretty awesome too. And I'm hoping we don't have too many people up by the falls today. It can be really, really crowded. The first little town you, you pass has a lot of interesting history. They have churches, they have missions and all that stuff. And look at this building. It looks like some kind of observatory. Of course it's not, right? But look at the roof. This silverish dome they built. Maybe they are connected to the higher uh, spirits. The most common Hawaiian word private property and no trespassing. It's kind of depressing but I guess we have too many crazy people running around so they they have a reason for putting these signs up. This mission is painted in pink and it looks fantastic. I'm sure you agree. A wooden structure built a long time ago. And I see another sign private property. It's 
basically everywhere. This one, they have three signs. Private property, keep off, and so on and so on. Wow, that's wild. One sign is not enough. Look at the street. How cool is that? And we have a bakery. I will definitely go in there in a, in a minute when I'm done. This building is from 1910. And luckily for me, it's open. <laughs> We have an arrow pointing to the left. And somebody built a tiny little Orthodox church. It's really pretty. And on top we have a golden cross. That's really sweet. Hawaii is the home of many small churches, by the way. And every car you see on this road is going up to the Akaka Falls. These buildings are painted in bright colors and we have the Sarong Heaven. You don't need to go far to get the Sarong, you can just come here and pick it up. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is this historic theater. It's falling apart, but it looks like it was built in 1931. And at that time, which is 90 years ago, people uh, had fun. It was a thriving community. Now it's more like a museum. And you can cut your hair, if you like. Sometimes parking can be a mess by the Akaka Falls. So many people park outside, and that's probably a smart move. The typical information about this very famous waterfall. Let me see, I'm trying to find how high is it? I think it's like 400 and what is it, 40 feet? Something like that, I'm not even sure. But they have a little trail. It's mostly paved. I think it's up in that direction. And it's really interesting, but it's also very dark, so I don't expect too much to, to happen with the video but I will give it a try. This is the first look at this beautiful waterfall. And it's an extremely popular place. It's like uh, 25 minutes north of uh, Hilo. So if you if you come to town you have to visit this waterfall. The distance from the top all the way down to the bottom is roughly 442 feet. Let me see if I can see it better. This is probably the best I can do. It's not every day you see a waterfall dropping 442 feet. I mean, that's insane. It's beautiful. Surrounded by dense forest. And they built a shelter because it can be really, really sweaty. And the humidity is probably 
So we saw a few waterfalls today and uh, that is always fun, of course. I hope you enjoy this one. You have to pay five dollars to come in to see it. But I was lucky because the machine where you pay was broken so they let me in for free. Thank you guys. <laughs> This is not a typical day because we don't have too many people looking at the waterfall. But if you come here like a Saturday or a Sunday, I, I mean, you can barely reach the fence. That's just the way it is. Everybody wants to have a glimpse of this enormous waterfall. The question is, do we find life in this crazy fast moving stream and the answer is yes so we have a fish and a shrimp and both of these are able believe it or not to climb this 442 feet waterfall all the way to the top it's insane I mean look at it And they also explain the difference between a free falling versus cascading waterfall. We have a steady stream of people coming in. The afternoons are more more busy than mornings, of course. People are waking up late after a night out drinking. <laughs> I don't know what people are doing, but it's very, very possible. There is another little stream and it's surrounded by big bamboo. And the water will connect with the bigger stream in a few hundred yards. It's also very relaxing to see running water. Especially in the morning when you're still tired. <laughs> you can easily fall asleep. And this is a perfect spooky tree. Lots of roots and vines and whatever you call it, it's coming down to the ground. It's definitely a beautiful place. And everything is big from the trees to the massive bamboo you see in the background. <laughs> 